How's your day, Martin? Uh, it's been pretty okay. It's uh, good now to finally get started with um, with the press work. Um, been doing some some press up until now as well, but now it seems like it's uh, it's getting more busy. So it's always interesting to talk with people, you know, with uh, when a new album is coming out, yeah. you know, and to get some some feedback. <laughs> Absolutely, awesome, awesome, Martin. So Martin, nineteen seventy seven is to be out on. 26th May. So, would you like to tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this new album? Yeah. Um, as as normal, I you know when I start writing for um, for a new album, it's mm-hmm. normally like right after the the release of the previous album, or maybe I even start writing uh, you know already some riffs before. You know, I'm constantly constantly writing new ideas. So. So uh, as soon as one album is, is done, I'm, I'm immediately more or less, you know, uh, mm. back at work with the, with the next one. And um, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, I've been doing this for some years now and it's, you know, the, especially the writing process and all this is something that comes very natural for me. And um, it's also something that I really love, you know, um, this uh, creative part mm. um, you know, with um, uh, you know, setting up new songs and all this, uh, it's, it's yeah, it's something I really love to do. You know, and um, and for this album too, it was um, I would say that the writing process and everything was really smooth. Um, and also the the recording and production this time went went really um, really smooth as well. You know, with the uh, with the previous album, we uh, we we did you know most of the work for the album was during lockdown and this whole COVID period. So it was a very stressful and, and chaotic experience actually uh, for the, for the previous album. But with this one, everything was a, a lot better. You know, uh, we didn't have to face all these complications and problems that we had to deal with during lockdown. So it was a very nice experience. Um, to uh to make this uh, new album fantastic fantastic watching and uh, was there any particular concept or a theme that was put behind this album um no it's uh, not a specific concept um there's uh, all the songs on the album are um you know kind of written individually um so there is no lyrical concept or mm. or anything like that uh, it's just um bunch of a uh, bunch of brand new songs <laughs> all of them you know written individually fantastic fantastic and uh, talking about the album was like uh, heavily influenced with 80s synth pop and uh, brings back to a lot of good old memories back from the 70s and 80s and uh, great work from this album and each and every song beautifully done I totally enjoyed it in every song for this album. Thank you so much for putting up an amazing album this year. As a band, how do you, you feel about the outcome, Martin? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for these kind words. And uh, yeah, for me too, you know, um, you know, with the, um, the inspirations from the 80s and the 90s, uh, you know, for me, this, you know, this time period represents my, uh, my childhood and my teenage years and uh, you know so it's for me there's something really nostalgic about this period you know and uh, so I, I really enjoyed implementing this kind of sounds into Serenia's music too because you know it's for me it, it instantly gains that nostalgic feeling um, and it's um, I think something that we have done um even since the very beginning, you know, I, if we go and, and listen to our debut album at sixes and sevens, you can already find uh, some keyboard sounds yeah. there from this era. Uh, but, uh, but with this new album, um, I think we definitely uh, took it to the next level, you know, bringing in a lot more of this stuff. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, and, you know, it was one of those things, you know, that I kind of uh, decided already when I started uh, writing for this album, you know, that I wanted to implement more of this um, stuff into the music. Uh, 
I also wanted to make a very melodic um, album this time. Um, and probably also a bit a um, bit more simplistic than uh, than uh, the previous album um, and um, so it's more you know more comes down to to the vocal melodies and, and stuff like that and maybe not that many layers of, of music uh, of sounds uh, I think this one is a bit more uh, simplistic maybe than the previous one Um which was also uh, a choice that I, I did pretty early on. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I would say it's a, it's an album that we really enjoyed making and uh, the process was a very nice one. And uh, yeah, really happy with uh, with the result as well. I feel that we, you know, kind of was able to achieve what we wanted to achieve with this album. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, you put up... Two amazing videos, one for Deadlight, another for Twisting My Sobriety. So are there plans to come up with more videos from this album? Um, yes, there will be one more, um, at least. Um, uh, that's from the song called Wintry Heart. Um, it will be released on the 25th of May, which is the, um, the day before the album comes yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's uh, also... Uh, a song that I enjoy much from the album, so really looking forward to to uh, to have this one out. And I, I didn't see the result from the video yet, so I'm also very curious to uh, to see to see the video when it's uh, when it's ready. Yeah, amazing, amazing! And any big plans on the day of the release? Uh, we don't have uh, immediately. Uh, a little bit later, we will start doing uh, summer festivals um, mm -hmm. in Europe. Uh, we have four, until now, we have four uh, summer festivals. Um, and after that, we will start touring. Um, and we also start in Europe uh, in uh, September. And so after that, we just, you know, hope to uh, to continue touring in, in different uh uh, territories as well and we hope that we will be able to to tour quite a lot with this um, with this new album uh, especially you know having in mind uh, that the, the previous album was released during covid so we yeah. we were not really able to to tour a lot with the previous album so now we are you know more even more you know excited to to go on on tour and, and to to present this new one awesome awesome and uh, the history of the band goes way back to 2001, almost 22 years ago. And now you have 11 albums in in hand. So how do you feel about the road that you have traveled so far? Yeah, I think looking back at it now, I, I'd say we've been uh, quite productive, actually. Uh, I think uh, 11 albums is is quite good in that, um, that period of time. So, uh, yeah, I feel really, really happy. And proud about that, you know, that we uh, already have come to the eleventh studio album with um, with Serenia. So it's it's been a very very interesting journey for sure. There's been some ups and downs and uh, some expect unexpected uh, experience as well, like the the COVID stuff that we had yeah. to go through. A, we've been through a financial crisis also earlier and. It seems that we might even head into another financial crisis these days. It's it's hard to predict what will happen exactly, but uh, yeah, it's been um, it's been a, a long journey, and uh, um, and there's been many ups and many downs, and it's been very interesting. And we, for the most part, we have really, really enjoyed it. Awesome, much. Awesome. And Martin, I know there has been a lot of great, great moments over the last many, many years now. But is there something special that you want to share with me today? Um, could you please, uh, please uh, repeat that question? I couldn't hear the beginning. So, uh... yeah, I know there has been a lot of great high moments over the career of Serenia. But is there something special in the moment that you want to share with me today? Uh, yeah, that's a good, good question. Um... There's been um, there's been a lot of great moments over the years for sure, uh, and picking out picking out one of them is is always uh, 
always really really difficult uh but you know over the years you know we for example we had you know the the great honor of, of performing in um really big music festivals in in uh, in europe for example um you know performing and, and sharing stage with with bands you know that are heroes uh, of ours you know bands like ozzy osborne and iron maiden and and that kind of uh, you know huge bands you know that we have admired since we were kids pretty much so that that has been like you know really really special uh, experiences um for us too you know really uh really you know like a huge privilege to to be be lucky enough to uh, to experience uh, such uh, such things fantastic fantastic martin and martin i know serenia has been experiencing a lot of doing a lot of experiments over their career trying to do a lot of different things not sticking into the same thing even though it's considered as a symphonic metal band you always experience a different kind of music and you have influenced a lot of different stuffs into the band so in the future will you be continue doing the same thing or are you going to stick to the same thing that it is not uh, we always you know always try with every album to um to bring something new and different uh to the table um so yeah i mean uh, for the next album i'm i'm quite sure that um uh, we will try to do something a little bit different um uh right now it's a little bit early to say you know which direction we will take uh, i'm gonna need a, a bit more time to to make a decision on that and, and to figure that out exactly but uh but yeah for sure we will definitely do something something a bit different um we never want to release uh the, the same album two times or or to release music that sounds mm -hmm. too similar to um to the previous album so uh i'm sure that we'll come up with something something new and and hopefully interesting uh with uh with the next one too <laughs> awesome 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 and morton finally do you have any message for the serenia fans around the world i would just like to you know say um uh, cheers to all our fans out there and uh i really hope that you will enjoy this new um Serenia album and uh, we really hope to see you all on tour sometime very soon fantastic fantastic Martin and Martin I want to thank you so much for giving me today this wonderful opportunity to have you on this interview a real pleasure to talk to you today and thank you so much for putting up an amazing album 1977 on May 26th we're all looking forward for the release and hope to see you guys on the road real soon Martin Thank you very much. It was very nice talking to you. Right. And I wish you a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank you, Morton. And you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.